and you're watching Training Days. Getting people situated one pound at a time. Here's what we got going on here. Training Days is pretty much giving you an inside scoop on what it takes to be in the NBA, the top trainer in the state of Louisiana. What you're going to see from this show, you're going to see the blood, you're going to see the sweat, you're going to see the tears, and also you're going to see the soft and compassionate side that goes into being an elite trainer. So get ready and be able to be amazed at what takes place in being the world's most elite trainer. Today, what we like to do is uh, first when everyone, when anyone comes in, then we like to get them on the treadmill to warm up, then we get them stretched out. Today will be an upper body day. We're going to focus on chest, biceps, and shoulders. We're going to do some abs at the end, and we get them on up out of here. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
Yeah, straight up. Straight up. Straight up. One. Oh my God. Girl, get them all up. Two. Three. Four. I'm not doing no push ups. Man, what time? That time for you to get down there, you don't need push up. I'm not doing push ups. <laughs> you have all the fun, but I wish I could be squatting and lifting. Anyway, what's that? Oh, Got the little knuckles over there, huh? Four, you feel that? Breathe in, breathe out. 
Finish taking over the world. Yes. Quick 30 minute workout or our lunch break. Yeah. Not bad. Let's go ahead and get this place cleaned up because, of course, you know, a clean gym is a happy gym. I make sure that every piece of equipment that we use in here is sanitized directly after by me. Walking down. I like to do, I like to support locally owned businesses. You know, I'm a locally owned business. And, uh, you know, that's how I give back. That's how we keep this thing going. All right, here we go. And as we try to get in shape, you know, here we go, walk past. It happens to be a locally owned burger joint. And one thing I say about this, you can eat what you want as long as you're working out. But you have to make it a priority. You have to make it a priority if you're gonna have a cheat day, that you gotta get up and burn off what you put in your body. Just that simple. The best thing about this, that this lifestyle isn't for everybody, man. I mean, everybody wants it, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean everyone knows how to go and get it. Football from a soccer range in Minnesota. I think they are going to ask for a review. We have. 15 minutes ago, we were looking for him a school to go and play at. College football, that is. We got that call. So he's headed up from Louisiana to Minnesota to go and pursue his career as a collegiate athlete. Behind two strikes. No. We figured this day would come, but we just didn't imagine it being so soon. Hopefully everything works out for him. And I've been working with him since he was 15 years old. I trust him. We go out there for one reason, two reasons. Get our education, play college football. Anything else outside of that, ain't got nothing to do with us. Today, God first, education second. How powerful, how explosive you can be for these eight seconds. I want to see how powerful, how explosive you can be for that length of time. I'm going to ask you to be at your highest level ever for eight seconds. And then you can cheer once you finish. All right? Here we 
go. I put a lot that I have inside of me into him. I trust that he's going to do what he has to do. Come on back and do great things, not only on the football field, but in life as well. That's what this is all about. It's an opportunity that you might not necessarily ever get again. So you have to take pride in taking advantage of your opportunities. We do our conditioning drills with the ball coming at you. Oh, what better way than to prepare yourself than to actually practice tired with that ball in the air. You can do all the field work you want and that ball's not coming to you. And when that ball finally comes to you, you're not going to know what to do. So we practice hard with the ball for our condition. Here we go. Go get it. 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 So you have to prepare yourself like you ain't going to never have anything to lean on. So why not start focusing on that right now? All right, now come on. You, know, you will believe how many young, talented kids just like him walking around the South Baton Rouge area, walking around the South in general. You can't let being tired stop you from winning. And right now, because you're tired, stop you from winning twice. That's two unnecessary losses. I can, I can live with losing with somebody being better than me, but I can't live with unnecessary loss. All right? Now, come on, now you're better than that. Let's do it. See, you're looking at it as sprint right now, but I'm looking at it as positioning you to never be out of position on the field. That's what I'm looking at it as. Because everything we do out here is going to translate over out there. It's going to translate over in the classroom. Ain't gonna be none of this. You understand what I'm saying? Where you going is gonna be cold in October, freezing cold, ice cold, and you gonna still have to get up and go to class. You still have to play. You still have to be on time for every class, for everything that you got to do. In 10 degrees below zero. But guess what? I can guarantee you this: ain't gonna be nobody that can stop to stop you when you show up. not growing is stagnant. Anything stagnant is going to die. What you feed will grow, what you starve will die. What you feed will grow, whether it's your dream for your business, personal trainer, athletic director, movie star, musician, you've got to feed your dream. If you don't feed it, it's going to die. I hope that's that will be encouragement to you. More than enough encouragement. That's why I can't yeah. see you. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you don't get these three guys right here, okay? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Don't All get right, us. What are y'all family for? Y'all family for? I'm going to train a day, reality TV show. Oh, really? Uh, Louisiana's best personal trainer. Okay. All that goes into Hey, we're talking good when we get personal training too, but law enforcement. Law enforcement. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you have to do a couple sit-ups and jumping jacks. Can we do it all? At we can do what, 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 it, what it need to uh, be done. Absolutely, definitely. absolutely. Definitely. When we're from Tree. Push. Two. Up. Oh. Push. Three. Oh, Kendall Marble. Push. Get up. Here we go.
Again, girl, what kind of mom? A working mom. Girl, you work? Working. Pretty hard in the gym, too. I mean, you know. Well, thank you. I'm not so. No, it doesn't tell you, but it has to happen. You have to keep showing up. You have to keep working out. Oh, I'm not going to stop. Yeah. That's not an option. Can't stop. I won't stop. No, even know how to stop. All right, tomorrow. Thank you. All the hard days work. Eventually, when I move this catalog, you can just take it. 